I originally started, I made a homemade go-kart. I finished the project and ha didn't have anything to do. And decided I should go to welding school so I could make bigger, bigger things. And I was also in a kind of like a dead-end situation as far as my career with the uh, truck driving. So I decided I could go to school, do something I like, and get out of the truck and probably, you know, end up with a later in life type career. So it was a, a hobby choice that I figured I could turn into something I could do for my job and benefit both of us a little better. Well, the um, they had the welding course that I was after, and they had the uh, weekends and uh, evening classes that I could do and still work as far as uh, being close to my um, my home. But you know. But they have every every type of uh, class, and you can go from beginning all the way to advanced you know, degrees and everything else. So yeah. But my job pretty much let me ride out as far as I went two years straight, nights and summers. And uh, by the time I finished, they were actually ready for me to be on the welding team. So it worked out fine. The teachers were cool. The uh, hours were great because I could keep my job no matter where I worked at while I was in my trade at night or on the Saturdays. And um, I was like, maybe how easy it was for them to teach. Some places it's hard to learn from just based on how they do it. But I, my instructor, I believe, was Phil Suderman. And he was, he was laid back and if you had a problem, they'd come over and talk to you about it, show you. If you need to see it more than once, they show you, so. What I found out from welding, a lot of it is uh, routine. You get a little, um, you get a little variety off and on throughout your weeks, but you'll normally get certain stuff that you'll become good at, and they're gonna let you keep it. Instead of passing them around, you'll, you'll get stuff that's yours. And every now and then you'll get a variety, and that's when you get to shine. You, you wanna keep it, you shine on it, and it'll stay yours too. But uh, typically, I'm, like I just finished a 2,500 post job. I'm going straight over from MIG welding to TIG welding. In a few, whenever we're um, back out on the shop today, and from there, you pretty much sometimes you have to grind your parts, make your parts, press your parts. Sometimes you're the whole operation on top of welding. It doesn't necessarily mean you're well only. You'll have to grind it, make it, build it, cut it, put it together, blueprint it, and then it's yours. TIG welding is you have a rod in one hand and you have a basically a tungsten steel rod here in a hand controller and you operate it by your foot and you feed your well. A MIG welder, you just squeeze the trigger and it's automatically gonna come out and you just have to either whip it or lay it the way you want it, the well to look. I would say going back to school at whatever age, do it. You're not, you can't make less money. You, you will not have whatever skill you're after, you're not gonna get it thinking about it. You have to go do it, so. First thing I did before I even finished the class is uh, I started making my own products on eBay and Craigslist. I make weight sleds, you know, I make weight sleds, I make grills. So you technically welding, you will be able to make what you see. I don't know any other way to put it. You can make what you see, whether it's a car, a building, uh, you name it, you can do it. Let's say we're in Russia. I don't speak Russian. All I need is that blueprint. I don't have to say another word to anybody else. Give me that blueprint and my helmet, I'm covered. Skill speaks for itself. It's something you can do anywhere in the world, whether there's a language barrier or not. Just, and you can do it for yourself, so you can't beat it. And if you're young and you get into it, let's say you're 18, you wanna do it. By the time you're 25, you're probably making 40, 50 grand, and you're not even a master yet. So by the time you're 40, you're somewhere in some AC looking at blueprints, not even welding anymore. You, you got it, so it's pretty good. The younger you are, the better it will probably be.